Alright everybody, this is how we're going to do it. I am Eric Polly at erpolly.com and we're going to create a picture frame inside of Blender and put a photo inside of it. That sounds fantastic. Whoa, I'm tiny. No, I'm normal size. Hey, we got Blender open. No, we don't need to delete this cube, but I am going to select this camera and this light and delete them. I have my cube selected. I'm going to hit one on the number pad so we know where front is. Now working with that, I'm going to hit S and Y to scale on the Y axis. Let's go about there. Now let's bring this photo size on the z-axis just a smidge. And you know what? This is still a little too thick. I'm going to hit S and Y. Go a little bit thinner. We don't need too much going on with this um, frame here. Okay, so I'm going to go into edit mode by hitting tab on the keyboard. I'm going to hit 3 on the keyboard. Now I am selecting faces. I'm going to hit I on the keyboard to inset. Now that seems like a reasonable amount of water for this photo. I'm going to extrude one time. Let's go about here. Now let's extrude again. And I'm going to go to like right about there. Now I have a blue material by default, but it's your normal material. I just made it blue. Now I'm going to add another material and make this a new material. And I'm going to call this one Picture Frame Photo. Let's call this blue one Picture Frame. No. Uh, we'll normally have it saved, but this is such a basic image, I'm not really too worried about having to do this again. Uh, now, with the picture frame photo selected, I'm going to go into shading tab over here. And I'm going to hit, let's do shift A. In the search box, I'm going to start searching for image. I'm going to have my image here, connect the color to the base color and open the image. I'm going to go down here, let's open up something called Flyer. And you can use whatever image you would like to be using to put inside of your picture frame. Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. No, I'm going to use a Flyer image. Let's use this one over here. This one over here. There. Oh. Nothing's happening because I've not assigned this location. So I'm going to click it and assign it to this material. Perfect. That's what we want. Okay. Now let's go up here to the UV editing. And let's, since we currently have this face selected, it will show up over here where we can establish our UV um, map according to the mesh. Now I want to go over here and view port and edit what I'm looking at so I can properly align. Now I'm just hitting the R key to rotate and I want it to be facing the proper way. And uh, to size that about like so, size it on the X, grab it up, I don't really want to show the uh, text or anything, so that's what I want to be showing in the picture frame, and I'm going to actually hit S again, just to make sure that the only thing showing is this guitar player. Okay, so that's a picture inside the picture frame, generally speaking. I'm going to go over here so I can see what I'm looking at. Let's hit the tab key. And let's hit 2 on the keyboard, so I'm selecting edges. I'm going to select this edge here. 
You can hold Alt and select this edge, and that should select the edge all the way around. Perfect. Now I'm going to hit F to fill it in. And let's select this to make a new material. Click New. Let's assign it. Now it's white. Now let's go down to the viewport display. And we want the blend mode to be alpha hashed. Alpha hashed blend mode. Now we can change the alpha. Let's change the alpha to 3.25. Seems like a pretty decent number. You can tell that it's inside of glass, I suppose. We change the color of the glass to like a gray. It looks even more better. You can also try in the viewport display settings alpha blend. Right? I prefer alpha hashed. And I'm going to call this picture frame uh, glass. Sure. Okay. Now the picture frame itself is not really blue. So I'm going to make it black. Almost black. And it can have really hard edges because it's a picture frame. Perfect. Now you have an individual picture frame. Now, I will hit tab and actually select all of this, duplicate it on the x-axis, duplicate it again on the x-axis, and let's hit three on the keyboard. Let's hide these two pieces of glass, and let's go over to the UV editing. Now I have this middle image selected. I could as, just as easily select it and go down here over here this person was the collector and let's select this one and put it over here and go like all the way here here and do this tiny one Even better, this one right here. Doesn't really matter. Art. Now I have three images here. I'm going to call these pictures in frames. And I'm going to leave them as one image because I can always change that later if I feel like doing that. I'm going to mark it as an asset and save it. Uh, I have a video tutorial on creating assets and creating an asset library. If you would like to change, check that out, I suggest it if you don't know how to um, create an asset library. It's 100 useful is what I like to say. That being said, you can create your pictures inside of your picture frames now. So go use your talents and create amazing things inside of the Blender. Thanks for subscribing, and I'll see you at erpoly.com. Ha <laughs> ha!